Do you put regular data center switches on the rocket? <laughs> this is a question that Lexi and I get a lot. You know, oh, what kind of Cisco switches do you use? Uh, well, the fact of the matter is, is that rockets are an incredibly dynamic environment. And what I mean by that is that there's extreme hot, right? Uh, there's rocket engines that are producing, you know, 3,000 degrees Celsius exhaust. There's extreme cold because you're in space, you're in a vacuum. Uh, there's extreme vibration, again, because mm. of the rocket engines. There's shock involved, there's lightning strikes, there's radiation, you know, all the time. I'm sure everybody's heard of the you know, infamous story from TAC where you, there's some weird problem with your network and it turns out to be a solar ray. Yeah. That's a real thing, right? <laughs> and it gets way worse the further that you get out into space. So what all this means fundamentally is that we have to, it's custom hardware that's required. There's nobody that's building switches, you know, commercially that you can go and use in right. these kinds of environments. Uh, the design and the environments just don't there. work. Yeah. <laughs> just toss it on the rocket, yeah. yeah. I've been asked if there are hubs on the rocket. Things oh, nice like one. That, yeah. That's so, your fault. I know. That because you can't stop talking <laughs> about hubs in your That's social true. media. So That's maybe true. we need to move on from the Take hub a little, now. Take a little, yeah, yeah maybe yeah. this is a sign. Yeah, okay. you've caused a problem. All right, that's fair. This is, our, this is uh, the fairing that goes on top of the rocket. So if anybody, if you don't know what a fairing is, I hope I explained this well enough, but it's, Go for it. it's the, where the payload goes. So okay. whatever we're going to deploy, you know, you see New Glenn in uh, this photo here. At the very, very top, right. there's a fairing. Okay. And it, it basically covers and protects the payload until it's ready to deploy, and then it, it opens up and that happens at a certain point in the mission. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. It's supposed to. <laughs> it, it did when we flew it in January. Yep. So. Nice. <laughs> and this is actually, this is a, a picture prior to that mission. You can see a person for the scale kind of down there in the middle. Uh, you know, this is an enormous oh, yeah. vehicle, right? It felt when the rocket actually took off. The emotion, I mean. We were, well, we were very different, right? I was like, I cried immediately. I was <laughs> sobbing, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think for me, you know, when it launched again, uh, I think that I was more in the zone in terms of, you know, operationally thinking yeah. about what could, what could happen, uh, making sure that everything looked good. But, you know, a couple weeks afterwards, for sure, uh, it kind of hit, you know, there's that moment of reflection of, you know, how long that you spent on yeah, it, how exactly. big of an accomplishment it was. So it was really right. satisfying.